know this. Um, so do that, scan contents, and we're going to include this file here, and then we'll go to scan contents, and we're going to add a couple of things just so we can work with them. So we're going to go include, so don't worry about some of these things for now. Process .h, oops, close it like that, include io stream, and this is obviously for our C outs and all that simple stuff, strings and sh stuff like that. Include uh, windows .h. It's going to move my mouse a tiny bit. Uh, include windows .h. Yeah, that seems fine. Get rid of this quickly. So include windows .h. And uh, that seems fair enough to me. So um, the class should have declared a class already. Right name button is something. Yeah, no, uh, we'll come back to here in a second to write some more stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the main concept here and we're going to do this. So, uh, yes, go save it. So we're going to do some function prototypes now. And now this is going to be a little bit of writing, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. So bool, take, screenshot, and I'll explain these when we're writing them. Screenshot, um, and this will have uh, std. Typing is really bad tonight. It sucks. Window to find. Uh, bitmap, so I'm just going to go into typing mode here, you guys should probably do the same and then I'll explain everything when we get to the actual interesting part. So h bitmap, bitmap, uh, and h bitmap, bitmap, um, bitmap info, bitmap info, oh sorry about this guys, I know I always promise you guys I'm going to do this properly, uh, bitmap info, bit, probably missed that t there, bitmap info, uh, so hopefully you guys can read that better. Bitmap info and BMI. Uh, the beauty of C plus plus HDC. Uh, HDC shot. I'm gonna zoom this in for me as well to have it easier. HDC shot. So make sure you put an ampersand there, which is for a pointer. Shot. Um, H bitmap. Um, that seems fine. And so I'm gonna start there. Oops probably want to do this whole one there and hbitmap old hbitmap old there you go that seems fine to me and the final one which is hwnd ampersand hwnd okay so yeah bitmap what's wrong with that bitmap uh, it's capital and bm a uh, bitmap bitmap info uh, and BMI and so they all seem fine to me and the next thing you want to do is void setup bitmap I'm gonna move the mic a tiny bit hopefully that won't make too much sound setup bitmap info oh, this is gonna be such a bad tutorial I already know it uh, info and BMI and int width uh, sorry B width um, capital W there, let's forget that. Int B height, uh, int bits per pixel. And I assure you this will probably <laughs> make sure at the end, uh, make sense at the end probably. So compare color, this is one of our key ones. RGB quad which is a, um, a variable that holds uh, an RGB set of colors, so red, green and blue. Um, I don't think it holds alpha, but this is what we're going to use to store our pixels. Uh, we're going to create an array, a pointer array of this. Um, sorry, we're going to create an array and then we're going to pass the pointer to it. Int height, int width, uh, int x, and int y. I really hope the typing isn't too loud. Um, so int y, because I know that gets annoying. So void, scan. BMP. Um, I'm just going to call that and then we're going to pass a scan contents. Don't worry about this for now. We'll declare this now as contents and scan. So we'll declare this variable right now. This is a class we're going to call in a second. So RGB quad. RGB quad. Why is that undefined? It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. So we've got call that, kill that there. Uh, that seems fine to me. So what we're going to do now is we're going to call our scan contents. We're going to create a couple of classes so we can get them out of the way early. So there we go. Let's just do that. Um, so.
So um, class, oops, what the hell is that? Class scan contents. And this is our main class here, which is what we're going to use for a few things. And we're going to call public, because we want all the variables to be public. We're not too worried about anything. Class bitmap. Um, that's bitmap. Uh, bm rect rc window rgb quad, which is our pointer to our um, RGB colors array, uh, p pixels, um, and then we're going to go create our constructor. It's kind of contents bitmap bm. I'm going to do a comma here rect rect uh, rc window. Uh, so uh, then we do RGB quad again, and we do P pixels, small p though this time, and capital P, P pixels. And now obviously that's the point of them, bitmap BM, correct window, yeah, that's all fine to me. And do not close it there. We create our constructor here and we just say the usual thing we always say is just this one equals this one. Um, so odds are you've seen a couple of constructors by now. I know I have. Equals that, I'll see a window and um, our pointer equals that pointer just so we can have access to the array of beautiful pixels um, and that seems fine, I'm going to have a bit of chocolate milk okay so that seems fine um, yeah so that's fine for that one what we're going to do here as well we're going to create another class quickly now this is something I wanted to do later on but we get on with it, we just get it out of the way uh, mouse coordinate uh, which is just called do that finish that there it's called public here uh, and that's fine the keyboard's so loud it's unbelievable um, so here is a very simple class it's just uh, we define an x and an y I believe there are already some things for this I'll probably missed out a class but or a struct but I don't really care this is something very simple to do so we do it ourselves it doesn't really matter and what we do is we send it in x in time so that's our constructor and just like we did above we say um, capital X equals small x and capital Y equals small y okay and that's great stuff so we just tab that stuff so indent it and that seems fine to me so that's that's okay um, so we then move back onto this one our error should be gone obviously it's not RGB quad what have I missed there I've had this error before I'm sure of it RGB quad have I missed an include perhaps RGB quad uh, RGB quad uh, RGB quad compare color RGB quad in bits per pixel um, which is fine there, that's fine. Uh, P, P pixels. Okay. Okay, so I had a quick look and I'm an absolute dildo. Uh, I just I had these the wrong way around RGB. So red, green, blue. Uh, so there's our array there um, of uh, pixels. Yep, that's fine. So we do this, can be in P horizontal, and there you go, the error is gone for that one as well. So we're gonna, we're gonna create a mouse coordinate global here. Uh, and this, I really don't like using globals in C++ because there's a lot of reasons why we shouldn't use them. But uh, for such a simple project, I decided to just do it because it simplifies our work a lot. So um, we do that and what we're going to do, first thing is, I believe, create our main. So we've declared our function prototypes. We're just going to go in main. I'm just going to find my main here. So this will take a bit of work guys, so feel free to take breaks every now and then. It shouldn't take more than an hour, but whenever I say that it takes more than an hour. So uh, let's just get on with it. So in main, uh, std string game window equals counter strike source. Now this name I got by loading uh, counter strike. Uh, now if you got a different game, for example Call of Duty, you uh, just a normal one will say Call of Duty 4 but just load your window and on in minimize mode and look on the actual top of the window for the name and that's the name you use so hwnd uh, app 
wnd equals find window. So what we're going to use for this is find to find our window. So we're going to use zero for that parameter, and the window's name is what we just created above. Dot c underscore str. I believe that converts into a uh, char array uh, or a pointer array, something like that. I don't quite remember. So game window that should be fine. Dot c str. Uh, uh, I believe if I do something like text here, it will work, yes? Nope, I believe not. Why is that? Expected a game window dot csdr. Let's see if we comment this quickly. Do we still get an error? Can't strike, so it's there we do. So I assume this is because, yeah, I know exactly what it is. So if you haven't done this yet, I usually do this every time, but every time I start a new project, I screw myself over. So if you go here, on this one right click properties and this is just something to do with pointers and pointer strings uh, so you go here use multi byte character set make sure you apply that one and our error is gone now so that's it that's fixed let's keep going so stdc out oh for god's sakes stdc out <coughs> enable to find and this is just a simple uh, thing to inform anyone that um, dot c s d r underscore s d r the same thing again although you, I don't think you have to do that but it doesn't matter we just add that in anyway uh, so unable to find the game and then we just do a system um, we go up here at the top part uh, to find a window da -da 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 -da. Uh, window system size so we just called find a window uh, what we need to do is create a loop here while app wnd so as long as the handle isn't true, so as long as it doesn't have something valid assigned to it, uh, it's going to be false. So system.cls. Now, as a lot of you know, system.cls is quite a stupid thing to use, but it clears our screen. And uh, at this point, we're not actually using any um, any resources properly yet. So all that part's done. And then we just do call sleep. And this comes into it. So what we say is, um, if for example the person loads the hack and the, ha the game isn't on, it will just tell them unable to find the game's name and that's it. Okay, so up to this point it should actually work and should do that for us. So let's try and run it. Yeah, there you go, unable to find code strike source. There you go, that's as simple as it is so far. And let's just keep going. Um, so. Um, next thing we do is once you know once it's gotten past this it's found our game now we just want to get on with stuff so point current pause uh, we go there and we say get cursor pause and what this does what this function does cursor pause is it ex finds exactly where your mouse is located on your screen now I've got this here as a safety more than anything so you don't really have to worry about it still do it obviously because it's useful but uh, you don't really have to worry about it. So what you have to do, uh, current mouse, uh, just gonna check something quickly. Yeah, I gotta love um, current boss. I'm just gonna follow the tutorial here, even though I just found a shortcut of a better way of doing it. I just don't wanna risk making mistakes. Uh, current mouse x, y, dot x equals, so that would be current pause dot x. I know you could I could have just thrown this in there, but it doesn't really matter. I just want to follow exactly what I did there. Um, you guys feel free to if you just put the um, this variable right here, it will work just fine. But I, I want to make sure I follow exactly what the tutorial says, so I don't make any any chance of making mistakes really. Um, and then we just say aim bot, but then you're probably wondering, fleet, you idiot. We haven't declared any aim bot yet. We will declare that now. Uh, game window. So that's what we've thrown into aimbot. Now uh, we've declared our main, and now we're just going to call. Uh, obviously, we've got to finish this with a couple of things. So system pause, which is something we need to use every time, and return zero. Return zero. We want to make sure we return something. So aimbot. Aimbot does not exist yet. Now, bear in mind. Actually, did we declare a uh, function identifier at the top? We didn't. Well, that sucks. I'm an idiot. I really should have declared something there. Just going to declare it quickly. Um, and even though these aren't really essential, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to de declare it here. So, um, bool aim 
mod. We might not do a f uh, function prototype for every single thingy, but we'll do for most, all right? So hwnd uh, app wnd, and then we're going to call std string. Uh, 